well in today's video we are going to be learning how to make this waistband with rope at the center this here is the back look of the waistband and this is what the inner finishing looks like if you're interested in this kindly continue watching greetings and welcome to my channel so the first thing to do we are going to measure the waist of the skirt after you must have joined it together what i have here from this point to this point here is 20 now as you can see my skirt is actually on foot so this 20 will give me 40 for a straight waistband so i have gone ahead to cut my waistband and the length of this waistband is 41 inches the extra one inch is for my stitch allowance and for the width since i'm using an elastic that is two inches wide and since this waistband is going to be on fold, I'm going to be cutting two times my elastic plus 1.5 inches. Please, for a better understanding of why I added 1.5 inches as a sewing allowance, kindly continue watching this video. So what I have here as the total width of this waistband is 5.5. When I place this on fold and remeasure it, I have a total of 2.75 now trust me this 2.75 is actually too much for an elastic with the width of two inches but for a better understanding of why i added 1.5 i really advise you just continue watching this video so the next thing to do we are just going to join the waistband together at the edge and please why joining this taking any sewing allowance you added to the length so you can get the actual length now please when you want to join it do not join it just straight up like that you are going to open this up like this and you are going to join it straight up and give it an open press so that you can have a flat and relaxed waistband so from here i went ahead to remeasure it to be sure i have the exact 20 i need for the waist circumference so from here now just go ahead to iron the waistband on fold please take note of this why you iron your waistband the front and the back should not be equal like this you just go ahead to decide which part is your front part and which part is the back part the back part of your waistband should be longer than the front part of your waistband remember i added 1.5 inches initially so the front part of this waistband i'm going to re-iron it and the front part should be exactly 2.5 inches while the back part would be 3 inches for a better understanding why i made the back waistband longer than the front waistband please just kindly continue watching this video as i would explain this later on in the video the next thing to do is to decide the front center of the waistband for me i'm going to be using the joint part as the front center of the waistband and i'm going to iron it straight up to have my guideline at the side so because i'm using the joint part as the center i'm going to get the midpoint of the front center now do not include the half inch sewing allowance when getting the midpoint now the midpoint of this front center here would be one inches then i'll go ahead to mark the one inches as the midpoint then from that midpoint i'll go 0.5 inch to the left and 0.5 inch to the right now you can decide to make slight buttonholes there is a video on my channel on how to make a buttonhole with your manual machine the link would be in the description box or you can decide to use eyelets for this or you can just decide to sew the fancy thread on it but for me i will just be using eyelets for this now remember we made the back part of the waistband longer than the front part of the waistband now what i'm going to do with this back part i'm going to give it a tiny fold like this just once and i'm going to be doing this for the back part only the essence of this tiny fold at the back part only you'll be seeing it later as we proceed so here i have just fixed my eyelet and as you can see i have giving the back part a tiny fold and if you take note the back part is still a bit longer than the front part so from here now i'm going to sew it all around and while sewing it i'm going to take in all of my sewing allowance because this line will be a guideline where i will sew the waistband to the skirt and i'm going to leave exactly two inches that is equal to the width of the elastic i'm using 
and i will leave like two inches where i can pass the elastic through so here i am done with that i will just quickly pass the elastic through and for the length of the elastic you can subtract one or two inches from your actual waist measurement i'll go ahead to sew the elastic together like this and i'll close up this opened part on the waistband so spread the fullness all around the waistband you just have to stretch it like this and you would have it evenly spread the next thing i'm going to do you're going to divide whatever you have here by the numbers of line you want divide into three if you want two lines into four if you want three lines and into two if you want a single line so to sew this up you have to ensure that you stretch it fully as you see me do you stretch and you sew stretch and you sew so i'll just do this all around with a straight stitch and here is it i made two lines for this now to join this up i will mark the center of the skirt and i also mark the center of the waistband so i will pin it centers to center like this and ensuring that my half inch is what I am using to sew it down to the skirt. You should not exceed the half inch. Ignore the back part that is longer and use the half inch to stitch it on the skirt. So I will pin it up at the center and I will go ahead to pin it all around at the marked point. That is at the waist center and at the waist side. As you can see, I marked both the, the waistband and the skirt. To sew this, ensure that you stretch the elastic to fit into the distance of the pinned angles, alright? So here I have sewn it all around and you can see that the back is still longer. I'll show you its essence just in a bit. So I'll just pass my thread through the eyelet. Now this is the back view. You can see the essence of the 1.5 and the back waistband being longer than the front waistband. It simply covers your rough seam and gives it a neat finishing.